It isn't about quantity, it's, it, it's about the quality. We've got a lot of people that are really good at making high quality ammunition. That's one of the things that, that separates Black Hills from other manufacturers. People with 12, 14, 20, 22 years experience. And guess what, after 10 or 20 years of doing something, every day you get really, really good at it. I was brainwashed as a child to like Oldsmobiles from my dad and I just been playing with cars ever since. He's our, our lead guy, he's our gearhead. He's the guy that makes sure that all of the ammunition uh, is, is correct as it comes off the machine. AJ came to us 20 years ago now. He was just a, a kid in these funny Led Zeppelin pants with long hair, but he had lots of enthusiasm. He paid attention, he was dedicated, and he's, he's succeeded because he's the ultimate gearhead. Besides the 11 hours a day he puts in here, he spends probably four hours a day working on his cars. He's got an Oldsmobile race car that he inherited from his dad. He's always working on those cars and that kind of mechanical aptitude and enthusiasm for what he's doing transfers over into making ammunition. He's one of the reasons why our product is as good as it is. In the 25 years that I've been employed here, I've probably inspected around 90 million. She's been here longer than anybody. Laverne is, she is the machine. When it comes to inspecting ammunition, there's nobody that can turn out the numbers she does. And we don't stress numbers, they just come naturally to, to Laverne. Matter of fact, we have to tell her, Laverne, slow down. You gotta take the time because you're setting a pace that's hard for other people to, to keep up with. And it takes that kind of passion, that kind of a relentless attention to detail that, that she's been able to do. And she's been able to do it for approximately 22 years. Yeah, Laverne is, is, is one of the, uh, she'll, she'll probably be mad for, at me for calling her an old hand, but she's one of the old hands here. I guess Uncle Sam kind of taught me that, you know, getting, getting up early. I get here about an hour early every day. JB is a, a real character. Uh, typically when the supervisors get here to open up, JB will be sitting at the gate in, in his car waiting for them to get here to open the gate so he can come into work. Now understand, JB doesn't punch in until 6.30. His day doesn't start till 6.30, but he's sitting at the gate oftentimes at 4.30, and he, he's not asking to punch in. He just wants us to let him into the building so that he can go in, down a quick cup of coffee, and get to setting his machine up to make sure that his machine is perfect for the, for the rest of the day. JB looks like you picked him up out of time at a Woodstock concert and dropped him into the ammo plant here. He wears tie-dyed shirts and got this, this big beard and this, this happy-go-lucky attitude. In business, basically what you do is you find quality people and then you train them to do stuff you already know how to do. You're in effect cloning yourself. But it takes a certain quality of dedicated individual to, to absorb that and say, Roger that, I've got it. We've got a, a whole building, we've got 60,000 square feet full of dedicated people that have said, I got it, the, the experience, the, the personalities, the, the passion that they bring to the job. We, we just couldn't do this job without them.